Hey guys, let's talk about the Tapo camera on a Google Chromecast or Google TV. Here I have it working already. There are different ways you can make it work. You can just use your remote control, for example, and even control the camera here on the Google TV or Chromecast. See that I have two of them and I can come here to the PTZ and even control the camera like this. So it works pretty fine. I'm using here with an app. I'm just um, come back here to the top. So you see that's the application Tiny Can Monitor Pro, right? Or you can also use with your Google Home application. Let me just show a different way. Basically here I can use this Google Home application. I'm just approach here so you see better. Google Home. Then you're gonna add a new device here. So come here to device. As long as you have it working first on your app, okay, the Google, uh, the Tapo camera is working. Then you come here and you add a new device. You're gonna look for works with Google Home. And you're gonna look for Tapo. So just select here, look for Tapo. There we go. And you're gonna link your account. You see here, continue to link your account. Agree and continue. Just take a look here. See, that's my account. I'm gonna add this account. Okay, now I just need to enter here my TP-Link ID. Let me just put it here. There we go. Just hit login. Close this one. Authorize. Now it's linking the account, okay? I'm basically gonna have the Google linked to my Tapo account, okay? There we go, see, found two cameras there, three, four cameras. So I just need to select the device that I want to add to a specific room and add to a room. And I can select the room that I want Let's just put anyone here, like the living room, for example, next. And done. Okay. So basically now here, oops, let me just come back here to home, devices, and then you see that I have here my Tapo cameras. So they sh should be working now. So now if I come here, I need to rename the cameras so I can call the camera like, for example, outdoor or something instead of Tapo C200, for example, easier to uh, call as a Tapo outdoor. This is a Tapo C120. Let me just go here. Show outdoor camera. Okay, I got the message, it's streaming outdoor camera on living room TV, and that's it, working, okay? So pretty good. And uh, that's one way you can do, and the other way is just using the Tiny Cam Pro app. You see that I have two cameras there, and I can add a new one. So if I come here to scan the network, I can just scan the network. See here, it's looking for cameras available in the network. And then I see there the Tapo C120. That's the one that's outdoor. I'm going to unselect the other ones because I just want the C120. Hit here to add the camera. Let me just do this one more time. There we go. Now I come back here to the top menu, manage cameras, and from here, you see that I have three of them. The new one is just this one. I just need to edit and insert the information here. I can leave the camera uh, with the name that has right now. I change the name if I want to. And I can come here and just insert the username and password for this camera. Right now I'm talking about um, a username and password that I have for the camera. Let me just uh, get my cell phone here so I can show you. There we go. Here's my iPhone. I have here the Tapo app. And for, it, for every single camera here, let me just log in here into my account. 
There we go. So I'm logged into my account. In here, I can just check the camera that I have available on my Tapo app. Okay, in my Tapo account, you see that I have all of them here. And then I'm talking about this outdoor camera. There we go, it's outdoor. And then here, I just need to come to the settings in advanced settings in camera account. You see that I have this account enabled. That's the username Tapo Admin, and I have the password one, two, three, four, five, six. I just created this um, before and I can use this account. So that's the account that's asking here, you see? Enter the username and I can just come here and insert the information that I have there. You need to do this before you have this uh, Tiny Cam Pro app working with your camera, okay? Just enable the account there, and then you come here and enter the information. I have it here, Tapo Admin, and I just hit here. And come here to OK. And then the password, one, two, three, four, five, six. Come here to OK. Come up here to the manage cameras again and live view. Then I have the two cameras that was working that were working before and it's going to load the new one. Let's just wait for it to load the new one. New one is supposed to load here. Some problem with the username and password. I'm just come back there. I think I just have an extra space there. Okay. I'm just come here to edit it again. Oops. There we go. It's an extra space there with the username. So let me just come back here and delete this extra space. There we go. Now it should be working. Okay. Just wait for it to connect. Takes a while and it's working. Okay. So now I have three cameras working back there in different ways. Basically, Tapo, those are the cameras that I have here. Okay, I have a lot of them. I was testing like the Tapo C100. I have the Tapo C510W, the Tapo C120. That's the one that I have here outdoors. And I have the Tapo C216. A lot of them, they work pretty fine. I'll leave the link here in the description for some of the, these cameras. They're pretty good, work pretty fine. And the idea here with this uh, software, this application, is that you can run different cameras. You can have like a Topo cameras, Arlo, Blink, or whatever camera you have there. You can have all of them in the same screen working together, right? I'll just uh, show an example here with a lot of Topo cameras because I have a lot of them. But it works that way with this app, or you can simply use Google Home and then you can just call your camera here, okay? As I did before with this remote control, show outdoor camera. Let me try again. I was talking before. Show outdoor camera. Okay. So pretty simple. Two ways of doing it to have your Tapo cameras working with the Chromecast or Google TV and it works pretty fine. So I hope you like this video. Leave your comments here. Subscribe to this channel and I see you in the next video.